South Korea's spy agency said North Korean Foreign Minister Cho Sun Hui, who is visiting Russia, may be involved in high-level discussions on sending additional troops to Russia and negotiating what his country would get in return. Lee Song Kuyen, a lawmaker for People's Power Party, said in a briefing Tuesday that the National Intelligence Service also told lawmakers it's examining the possibility that some groups of North Korea's military personnel in Russia, including generals or other high-ranking officials, may have already moved to frontline areas. The spy agency also said the two sides appear to be struggling to resolve communication issues although the Russian military is training North Korean troops on Russian military terminology, Lee said. North Korea's top diplomat is visiting Russia in another sign of their deepening relations. The announcement of Ko's visit came hours after the Pentagon said North Korea has sent about 10,000 troops to Russia, who are expected to arrive in battlefields in Ukraine within the next several weeks. Ukraine 5급 분장성을 포함한 일부 인원의 전선 이동 가능성을 열어두고 확인 중에 있다고 합니다. 이런 군사 용어 100여 개를 교육하고 있, 있지만 북한군이 어려워한다는 부분이 있는 상태이고 그래서 소통 문제의 해결이 불투, 불투명하다는 추적 어, 예측을 하고 있습니다. 이란 North Korean soldiers are already in Russia and will begin military operations against Ukrainian troops in the coming days. This indicates that the North Korea is fully participating in the war with Ukraine, said the head of the Presidential Office of Ukraine, Andriy Yermak, in an interview with the Italian publication Corriere della Sera. He noted that he could not yet say how many people were involved and whether North Korean units could really change the course of the war. More detailed information was needed. However, according to Yermak, the North Korean military is completely changing the political scenario and meaning of the war caused by Russian aggression. De facto, we can say that North Korea is participating in this conflict. De jour, there was no official declaration of war from Pyongyang, but de facto, they joined the military aggression against our country, a conflict that has been going on for a decade. Yermak noted. He also stressed that it is not enough to simply stop the fighting. It is necessary to prevent further aggression, otherwise the Baltic and Balkan countries will be at risk if Ukraine doesn't stop the invasion. They will be next. Answering a question about the possibility of asking NATO to send troops, Yermak emphasized that the Ukrainians are fighting themselves, of course, with the help of our partners, but on their own, and are doing so quite effectively. At the same time, he noted Ukraine needs a sufficient amount of weapons and financial support because only a strong and militarily secure Ukraine will be ready for serious negotiations with Russia. Thousands of North Korean troops are preparing to back Russian ruler Vladimir Putin in his war against Ukraine. The new soldiers are reportedly from North Korea's Special Operations Forces, the country's most capable military unit, and are likely to be deployed to Russia's Kursk region to try to retake the territory. However, Western analysts can only speculate on how effective these forces are against the backdrop of Ukraine's capable army, writes Phillips Payson O'Brien, Professor of Strategic Studies at the University of St. Andrews in Scotland, in an article for The Atlantic. Putin saw an opportunity to strengthen his hand in the war and took it, regardless of the Western backlash. He appears to be betting that the United States will not intervene directly. 
Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin acknowledged that North Korea had joined Russia in the conflict, calling it a very serious problem. Since the start of the full-scale invasion, the United States has been hesitant to provide Ukraine with advanced weapons such as HIMARS, Abrams tanks, ATACMS missiles, F-16 fighters and JASM long-range missiles. While these weapons were eventually provided, it was a waste of time that limited Ukraine's options. Moreover, the United States has never given a clear answer to the question of whether it would allow Western weapons to be used to strike Crimea, the Kirsch Bridge and other Russian targets outside of Ukraine.